today but here we are either way I had some recycling to take to the front because they take recycling plastic and then some bulbs and then I figured I might as well look at fencing and backsplash options for the kitchen other options somewhere. I'm not seeing a ton in this aisle. It's gotta be another aisle, but then I also wanted to look at fencing stuff and see realistically what the price point would be. to attempt reconfiguring the couch. And when I say I, Jared totally did it. I helped hold like a couple things. But instead of it being the three sections and then having like the L come out, we decided to make it more of a love seat and then we'll each have two ottomans. So I'm not really sure how it's gonna work, honestly. I'm just trying to see. Hi, hi. I just wanna see how it feels, you know, and test it out. If we need to change it back, no big deal. The bro couches are so easy to reconfigure like this where we can just like test it for a day or so and switch it back if we need to. But in the middle of doing this, I'm ending up changing kind of a million things. In this cabinet over here, as you guys know, we do have clothes on the top two sections. And then I was just starting to move this shelf down because we had kind of like our tools, as you can see here just random things that are needed, but we have all of our other tools up in the other loft. And so I was thinking of moving these up there also, we don't use them a whole ton, and then put shoes down here. So I'm moving the shelf down, gonna put our shoes in here instead of having them just everywhere slash under the couch. And hopefully this will be a nice change. Other really random side note, so I went to the UPS box and one of the things that we got was actually for lovely Barney sitting right here with us and it's cbd pet tincture bacon flavored vegan cruelty free even though it's bacon flavored and if anybody wants to check it out i mean i don't really have an opinion yet she literally had one serving of it but it is again vegan and cruelty free so i think that's awesome and our lovely kitty she's about 12 years old she's getting a bit older her joints hurt her she can be a little bit irritable so we were hoping that it would make a little difference and joseph hiding over here on the other side of the cabinet thinking about jumping up and attacking her we're thinking of giving some to him too because he's such a pain in the butt but maybe this will calm him down and he won't bug her as much we'll see i'll let you know but i'm gonna put these shoes away and then i will give you a little overview of the whole zone oh while i watch banded pump rules does anybody watch this show it's ridiculous. If you've never seen it before, I don't really suggest it, but I'm in, I'm hooked. I'm there. So I'm watching it. I watch a couple of the Real Housewives shows and stuff like that. I can't help it. I try to keep myself away from it. I know it's not great for my brain. Detox the brain. Positive in, positive out, you know, but I can't help it, but I have to know. Does anyone else watch it? Tell me. So this is what we got going on. Got Barney hanging out down there. Hi, Bobo. So, cow. 
couch. Moved the air filter. Got a huge freaking cat fuzz on it. That's probably yours, huh, Barney? You probably did that. It was probably you. And the Kirkland Improvised Broccoli Floret Kitty Cave <laughs> with a little heating pad in it. So we moved the Cat Scratcher Lounge to this side. And with our sad lack of storage, I've just double stacked our scratching pads here. And for the couch specifically, so I've been leaving it so I can kind of just walk through it like this, which is quite convenient. I re-brought down the basket that was up top in the loft that I was t I was using for blankets before, then I was using it for games. Now I'm using it for blankets again. <sighs> Terrible location for the walking pad. Very difficult to get out, but that is where it is right now. <laughs> and then this wool. Another plus for having the ottoman as it is here, I can open the cabinet. I gave our clothes a little more space. I moved this down like three or four notches so they're not just as crammed, you know, got that in there. And then Bubby's shoes are on this top shelf. My shoes are on the bottom shelf. And I mean, since we're here, let's do a little highlight on my new shoes. The lighting is terrible. Let's try this again. <laughs> there we go. So, I was using my Lokis to do cardio, which, I mean, honestly, I don't even think that's what they're for. Those are my guys hiding down there, and I do love them, but I, they were starting on the side. There was a piece that was starting to come off, and my feet have been hurting me a lot, which I think I've kind of mentioned here and there. I slightly was attributing it to just walking barefoot on our hardwood floors all the time, even though we have our great ruggable rug down here. It obviously does not go the full expanse of the tiny. Also, our washing machine is going, <laughs> so sorry for the sound. Not to have too many asides here, but we had the washing machine going last night. And if you don't clean the filter out often enough, it basically can't drain. It creates too many suds during the wash cycle, and it gets clogged, and you have to completely drain the entire thing before it can continue. So that basically happened last night, and we were like, I cannot deal with this. So this morning, Jerry got up extra early before work, drained it. It's now doing its wash cycle, which it now thinks is like three hours. So I'm just living through that, and I get the joy of hearing the dishes shake on the shelves every so often. But the shoes. So these bad boys, the brand is Hilo. I'm pretty sure everything on their website is vegan and cruelty free. That's at least what it seemed from looking around. I don't think it was like certain shoes are, certain shoes aren't. It says, run like the world depends on it. And they are very lightweight shoes. This part here, the tongue, is very thin, which kind of threw me off. Just normally, you don't end up with shoes like that, you know? I've worn them once so far. They are very comfortable. The shoelaces, if they want you to lace them all the way up to this last lace here, I really have nothing left to tie my shoe with. <laughs> so I was really just walking around with them just knotted once, or I'm gonna relook at an email they sent. They mentioned like, you know, where to lace them up to if it really matters what have you. So I'll look into that. But I love them. I love them. I almost got them in a forest green, which y'all know I love. But I thought that these would just match a lot more of my things. I've got my black girlfriend collective pants, my blue ones, I've got a couple other colors of workout clothes. And I just laugh at me walking in these beige shoes on the property. But whatever. I'll just keep them clean and I still think dirty beige shoes are going to match a lot better than forest green shoes with different things that I'm wearing. So, and then maybe I'll get the forest green ones too because those were on sale. These are 135 and then the forest green ones were like 95. So, when I buy them, when I buy shoes again in the future, I'll probably get the forest green ones. But if you guys want to check them out, I do have a discount code below that they gave me. I think it's $20 off a pair of shoes, I want to say. So, if you're interested, I'm loving them so far. I will conti continue, continue, I'll continue giving my opinion and reviews on them if you guys wanna like hang out, check them out for a little bit with me. But I will keep that link in the description whenever I'm wearing them or mention them. So if you wanna check them out, I love them. And I just love that they are vegan, cruelty free, that the company is good for the environment, that it is upcycled materials. So stoked, stoked on these. But my feet, the one time that I've been wearing them, I mean my feet honestly haven't hurt 
since I got these and I think that I was just doing my cardio in obviously the wrong kind of shoes. Shoes really matter. So I got these. I'm super stoked. The part on my Lokis that is tearing off, I'm going to glue and just hopefully they'll do what they do. What is Moo doing outside? This child. Now you're going down? Got the whole clan. What are you looking at, mister? Looking at the lights? You're playing with the Christmas lights. Is there a bug out there? What are you doing? Sometimes a bug will land right outside. Sir, what are you doing? Love you, Barnes. Crazy cookie cats. But, oh, I guess I should put these shoes back now. But that is basically what is going on in the world of the tiny house living room. And here, I'll show you what it looks like when we have the ottoman pieces. Wow, that should be. You know, life is full of options, right? So, I also have been existing with it like this to where I can just walk in, sit down, and I'm good. Or, of course, pushing it all the way in. But I have some video editing to do. It is Friday. I'm supposed to have a video go out today. Like I said, I've just been weird. I've been in a funk. I'm still doing good. I'm still feeling good. But it's just like the court date coming up. The court date coming up brings Ajda brings a little anxiety. I just want it to come. I want it to pass. I want things to be good. I want to be able to continue our life. I feel like we've been in limbo, but it's okay. And I tried to convince myself, no, you don't need to have a video come out on Friday. It's fine. They'll understand. And I'm sure you guys would understand, but I still feel that it's my civic duty <laughs> to put a video out. And it's my commitment. It's my job right now. So I'm here with you guys. I want you to be able to rely on me and be consistent and you know I know there are a lot of places in life where things aren't consistent so if I can be consistent in anyone's life I'm here for it so I'm just gonna chill in my new living room space for a little bit I've got my latte that I made this morning been doing the decaf honestly it tastes different I don't know if it's my decaf grounds that are honestly so old and they're pre-ground as opposed to being beans so I know that makes a difference or if just the decaf to not decaf really makes that much of a flavor difference but I have I don't know definitely less than a month of decaf coffee left and then I'm going to sorry I thought I saw something like an owl in the tree and then I am going to buy a new one so I'll know from there for sure flavor wise and I don't know. I haven't noticed a big difference energy or not energy wise from switching from regular to decaf coffee. It's hard for me to picture doing no coffee at all, but I know that people talk a lot about how, you know, the caffeine and the coffee, it's not the best for you. I have gone coffee free for a time, coffee and free, and I was getting these just natural energy bumps throughout my day where my body would just give me natural energy that I don't really get when I am drinking caffeine. So I know there's still caffeine in decaf coffee. I don't know if I'm going to be tapping into that perk of, you know, getting that natural high. But I also have the Boost Vitamins from Form, the supplement and protein powder company that I recently switched to. And I've used that a couple times when needing energy. Hi, Mr. Moo. So at the very least, I'll have that. It's not like I'm just going to be sans energy or trying to go out into a workout with their own and that stuff. Speaking of that, today's leg day. I'm gonna leg it up and I'm excited to try working out with the slightly more space that we got going on here with the temple machine. But editing first and get a little chunk of stuff done.
So Jared just called and he had left for work less than 30 minutes ago and they wanted to come back at two. So I'm gonna keep editing this a little bit but he's gonna head back. So maybe we'll do some reading together. I don't really know. Maybe we'll work out together. That would be nice. Hi Bernie. Maybe we'll work out together. I like it, Bernie Burns. Okay. 